Hello there my fellow Holotable heroes and welcome to another Galactic Challenge video. It's time that we take a break from the daily grind of Conquest number 10 and take a visit onto the planet of Kashyyyk. Now unfortunately we are not going up against a squad of Wookiees. It's funny that after all this time with so many Wookiees we have in the game there's still no Wookiee tag. Hey they even have a leader in Clone Wars Chewbacca. But anyways, still you know, Sith versus Old Republic, I guess it's sort of uh, lore accurate you could say, because in the Knights of the Old Republic I do remember visiting Kashyyyk, uh, so I guess they kind of tie into that era uh, where Old Republic and Sith were going at each other on Kashyyyk. But anyways, I would have to say that this is probably the first Sith challenge uh, that actually was challenging, because oh boy, uh, that uh, Jedi Knight Revan, mmm. They're very tricky, he can mark, they're dealing true damage, they got tenacity through the roof, they keep getting bonus turn meter. Uh, anyway, more about it later uh, when I go through the details and modifiers as always. So if you're not interested in that, skip through to the battle using YouTube chapters below. Today I have three battles for you. Now if you do have Sith Eternal Emperor, this actually is a very straightforward event. You can do all fits in a single battle. So this will be the third and final uh, here battle that I'll show in the video. But for those that do not have Sith Eternal Emperor, there will be two battles. So the first one will be Squad of Sith with Palpatine lead. And then another one uh, there will be with the Jedi, uh, which will again address the unsupportive feat. Anyway, again, more about the feats later. Let's just get into it. Uh, so to begin with... For the Kashyyyk we've got a global modifier, Righteous Retribution. Now it does a couple of things but probably the one you will notice the most in this particular uh, challenge today is the recovery of protection. Especially like Zalbar, Jolie, they're very tanky and you will uh, try and hit them and they will keep healing up protection because they're so tanky you will actually be healing them up when you're applying any debuffs. So definitely you might want to try and stay away uh, from applying debuffs too much to them um, and as well it will also play nicely with the um, Old Republic modifier, the debuffs as well. We'll talk about it later. Now this is really the first challenge that actually this modifier for Sith will actually take any effect on the battle because previously all the Sith challenges we had, Sith were just so dominant, you didn't really need this modifier, but this one you really need, you will lose one or two Sith for sure and whenever that happens the remaining Sith staying alive they will gain extra health, extra offense and gain some turn meter as well and recover health. So this will definitely help you out here uh, as the battle progresses. So finally making use uh, of this modifier. As mentioned before here, the Old Republic modifier does many things, same as Jedi Knight Raven himself. And as mentioned before, in the global modifier, whenever you do debuff these guys, they'll be recovering protection. Well, you as well. But check this out, these guys are immune to tenacity down, they start with a bootload of tenacity, so landing any sort of debuffs will be challenging actually. And then whenever they do resist, everybody gain 4% turn meter. So you will want to probably stay away from AoEs that apply debuffs. For example, you say, all right, I'm gonna use Force Crush, boom, you use Force Crush and suddenly the enemy, all of them have full turn meter and they start hitting you and running silkers around you. So definitely, mostly will stay away there, especially from Force Crush uh, from Vader. We will use skin for the other purpose. More about it later. So as you can see here, this will be a tricky one. And on top of it, yes, they're dealing true damage whenever they use their basic. So pretty powerful heal modifier this time. Okay, so for the fists themselves, you have to win after taking eight turns in a row. That's why I'll be using Darth Vader for that. Obviously, have to complete the battle, and then because of the combination of the full uh, team of Sith units and unsupportive feet, like Sith, if you don't have Sith Eternal Emperor, the attackers and tanks themselves, they are just not good enough. At least the ones I tried out to get this done in a single battle. So I had to use some support units with the Sith to be able to win and that's why we'll do then a second battle with the Jedi where we will not use any supports because Jedi they don't need support characters you know to get the job done but if you do have Sith Eternal this will be very straightforward as I'll show you in the third battle but anyway let's first look at the Sith uh, here team that I'll be using I'm going with Palpatine lead uh, and that's really for the main reason here he gives you some extra potency so hopefully we can land some debuffs on them especially Shock and then as well obviously when those debuffs do expire we'll be gaining some extra bonus turn meters so we can keep up 
uh, with the enemy here in terms of taking turns. Otherwise, they'll just run circles around you, these guys. So Palpatine, definitely very good. Then also from his unique, whenever a shocked enemy or a Jedi enemy, they take a turn, they'll be taking as well some damage. Just a little bit helping us out, making progress towards taking those guys out because they're all very tanky. Um, now in terms of modding, um, I didn't really remod these guys too much. There you go, Palpatine there on his basic can apply shock, which will be crucial to land it on Zalbar, obviously. Now in terms of modding, I have Palpatine modded for potency anyways, uh, so I didn't have to remod, but you know, if you're struggling to land shock with his basic, you will definitely want to probably put some potency on him. Malak will do what Malak always does, be a pain in, in the bottoms for everybody. We all know what he does. Now Vader, after his rework, uh, then his ability block will land 100% time on Jedi, they won't be able to resist it. So we'll just be doing ability blocks mostly and because of his Merciless and all the bonus turns it will be quite easily to get that feat done where you have to take 8 turns in a row. Again, won't be using Force Crush really because this will just feed turn meter to the enemy. The reason why Trey is in here because Jedi Trevan is hard coded to f always mark Treya and that's why she's there, she's just bait really. And what will happen is when Trey gets marked, they will apply debuffs on her. This will then feed turn meter to Nihilus, so he can go out, use his drain force, hopefully increase some cooldowns, get to her, his annihilate faster, so we can then just you know take Zalbar out because you know he's be very tanky, very hard to take out. Um, now in terms of modding, 257 speed doesn't really matter, I think, because of turn meter. And there we go, ready for battle. Let's go. And there we go. And. See, Jedi and Hard Knight Trevon already taking damage for Pops Unique, he will always mark Treya. Then we can go ahead, unfortunately just one cooldown increase there, bad RNG. Anyway, let's keep moving. No Force Crush here, just keep going around, doing basics. Now Jedi Trevon, you cannot ability block him, but the other guys you can. Yeah, perfect. Again, no Force Crush, if you use Force Crush there, you will just give full turn meter to the enemy. You don't want to use that, uh, just keep going now. There goes Treya, she did her job. Perfect landing shock on Zalbar, so we don't have to worry about him taunting. Going after here, uh, Basti next, uh, because then you know she can keep put uh, bath meditation on everybody, then they'll be counter attacking and things like that. We obviously do have to as well go for Savior on Jedi Trevan, so let's just go ahead as well and drain him. Keep hitting Basti there. Here comes the cleanse, unfortunately. Oh boy, okay, here we go, not an issue. Luckily, there are lots of fear on, on everybody, uh, thanks to Malak. That's why we have him in there. Shock on Zalbar again. Basic from Nihilus dispels buff, so we got rid of that shock. Let's do another drain. All right, almost got Julie out. And we're ready for another round of Merciless already. All right, perfect. So let's just keep going. And there goes Julie. Tag took him out. Just basics, no force crush here. All right, basics, yeah, basics. Don't want to feed their meter to those guys. Um, basic on Basti, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going after after Malak, perfect. Let's do another here. Uh, cooldown increase, nice. Almost got Basti out. Let's get shock on her. Ah, she resisted. Fine, we'll just drain her. There we go. And that's just a case of cleanup job here, because, you know, without Basti, love without Jolie, these guys aren't much of a threat anymore because they can't counterattack as much. There we go, Annihilate online. Um, do you know what? Just take Zalbar out, because to be honest, Jedi Trevan without Julian Bastila, he can't really do much by himself. We're ready for another Merciless, but I'm just going to do basic here. Try to get Jedi Revan out as quickly as you can. Now Revan, if he does get another mark out, uh, his second priority after Treya is Nihilus, which again will leave your Vader, Malak and Palpatine safe uh, from Mark there. There we go, okay, yeah, well, Mission doing her best, really. Uh, but without her buddies, she's not really a threat anymore. Come on, there we go. And this is how I completed here uh, my safe challenge. Obviously, there's a bit of RNG involved, like sometimes Revan, in the beginning of the battle, he would use Mark, he would swap her meter, he would do basic. Uh, I just uh, showed you the battle while he used Mark, because probably those ones are the most challenging, I would say. Uh, but anyway, we got one more feat to go here, unsupportive. Uh, again, winning without support characters can be challenging because you don't have anybody really to fracture or, you know, use some tech with water or something um, here that can actually um, uh, control these guys. Uh, so that's why I'm going giant look lead because 
with his leadership will reduce the speed on everybody, he's got a must stun, his basic dispels, deals true damage, just what you want, you're gonna have to look very slow, high offense, uh, that's how I got him modded, just for this particular battle, otherwise that's not the standard modding, on everybody else, just standard mods I have on these guys um, there, John Skywalker obviously is good, so he can reduce max health, especially on Julie in the end, because Julie will be very beefy, I don't think he can, I don't see anybody critically hit him, Revan, Jedi Revan, he does what he does, right? Marking, uh, he's got Savior as well. Julie there in case we need a revive. And finally Kenobi for Mass Assist, Retribution and Basic and things like that. So hopefully we can get these guys out rather quickly. Anyway, let's hop into battle now and see how this one will go. Alright, they're marking General Skywalker. As long as they don't mark Jedi Revan, you should be good to go. Um, then just swap Termiter here with Luke. Uh, use here as a rise. Then you use the stun, and then you just want to get mission out as fast as you can. Make sure to call here, look for assist so you can dispel the taunt uh, there on Zalbar. Just go after mission so she doesn't assist then when the Zalbar uh, attacks, right? Just get her out. Perfect. Alright, Zalbar doing what Zalbar does. Get some nice counter attacks because of Jedi Wheel. Perfect. Uh, now, because Jolie and Jedi Trevan, they're old Republic, they will not get uh, Jedi Will. That's why they didn't counterattack like the other guys did. Um, again, don't want to use AoE here because that daze from John Skywalker will most likely get resisted, and then you'll just feed Termiter to the enemy. So I'm just kind of using basics, uh, just trying to reduce cooldown on Zalbar to eventually take him out. Swapping Termiter here. I'm just going to go after Zalbar. Uh, just because, you know, he'll taunt, he can then start taunting anyway, and if he's got battle meditation, he can keep counter-attacking, keep doing, dealing true damage to your whole team. So you'll just want to probably get him out. Again, just basics here. I do not want to try and land days on everybody, just feeding Termiter. There we go. So we've got Mission and Zalbar out. They're the easy ones, because Julie can't revive them. That's why I prioritize them. Um, going after Bastila next now just try to trigger at Savior just speeding up the footage because this will take a while uh, especially because of Julie there you gotta be careful because of his revives I'm um, just going after Basti first uh, so we can stop her battle meditation and ability blocks and things like that okay perfect all right one hit two hit there goes Savior I'm just keep going after Basti here come on there we go Alright, so we gotta be careful now with the revives on Jolie. Let's get stunned there. Uh, Janet Trevan cannot be ability block, cannot be stunned. Uh, so while Julie there is stunned, so he can't revive um, Bastila there. I'm just going all out on Jedi Trevan. Just try to take him out. Come on, go down. There we go. Alright, luckily Julie did not have revive yet available to use. We can go ahead mark him because marking will increase cooldowns. Uh, obviously, General Skywalker, if he would be able to critically hit Jolie, he would increase his cooldown as well. But as you can see, this Jolie, he's got huge uh, their critical avoidance. Um, so we're just going to have to do now like that. And there we go. Thanks to, you know, General Skywalker reducing his max health once he's out of protection, I was able to take him out. So there you go. This is a team that worked for me. I was trying different things. I tried like uh, Celeste Rebels. But against the issue with CLS is, you know, all those debuffs you're applying, um, then you just feed Termiter to the team and you can't get your own Termiter train going, especially without free PO in there. Uh, and free PO supports, so you can't use him, unfortunately. So these are the two teams here. Uh, if you do not have Sea Fraternal Emperor, that worked great for me, because I, I was able to get all the feeds done, unlock max rewards. But I do want to show you, for those of you that do have Sea Fraternal Emperor, this is a team that very easily got it done. Um, so just using tanks and attackers in this one, no support, just, I just linked up Basti, uh, went into Merciless again, just basic when you're Merciless here, you don't want to fit Termiter to the enemy, because they'll just disrupt uh, your Merciless, and then you won't get your 8 turns in a row, and they'll start doing some big hits on you. Uh, there you go, just uh, draining their Jedi Trevan, obviously good there with the pulp linked enemies, um, <laughs> they will lose all the protection and then you'll just be able to drain them out quickly. Again, not using Mesh Shock there uh, with Darth Revan, it will just feed Termiter to them, they will most likely resist it. I did this dispel their buffs uh, with Cyan, we can go ahead feed everybody with Revan. I'm just keep going after Zalbar, 
um, because I don't want that he, you know, triggers taunt and just stuck behind him. I'll just wait until I get my ultimate. Another merciless here. Just again, a round of ability blocks there. I couldn't, you can't really ability block Jedi Treva, and that's why I thought, oh, let's throw a culling blade, see if we can get him out. Couldn't really. And there you go, here comes the ultimate. And that should take care of Basti and Jedi Trevan. And obviously when you do use ultimate power, uh, they cannot be revived. So Julie there, you know, doing his best, but hey, you know, this is ultimate power, Julie. You can't revive the, your friends from there. And then you can just hit auto here and, you know, the rest of the battle is very straightforward. So there you go, guys. Um, these are kind of the options here that I was playing around in today's challenge. Uh, hopefully, you know, it was helpful for you. Uh, because yeah, as before, this I think was the first time that actually, whenever we do have to use Sith, it was, was, was a little bit of a challenge to complete. It's just because of Jedi Trevon there uh, with his savior and then Julie and Zarba, very tanky, all the true damage, you can't land any debuffs on them. Uh, and then when they resist, they keep getting bonus terminator. Uh, when you finally do land debuffs on them, they're recovering protection because of global modifiers. Definitely quite a challenging team here, but still, as always, found a way to get it done let me know uh, guys how you are getting on in the comments below or on my discord server but until then have fun enjoy your life and may the rng be with you my friends